when you think of people ignoring best security practices, the first group of people that probably comes to mind are your average everyday user. Every so often, we all take the path of least resistance, doing things that we know we probably shouldn't be doing, but you generally don't expect it from the Linux distro, especially a distro with such a backing like Canonical's Ubuntu. That sounds really bad. It sounds like, oh, I should just stop using Ubuntu today. But this is a problem that most people aren't even going to realize is a problem. But Canonical marked it as a critical issue. It's probably not the case for Debian, but on Ubuntu, I can't imagine that most users are modifying their app sources.list. This is the file that indicates where your packages are going to be downloaded from, whether you want to make use of main and universe, and whether you want to be using, say, one of the official Ubuntu sources or one of the countless mirrors out there. So most people probably know the archive isn't one giant blob. You have things like main and universe, but also you have this other concept called pockets which most distros would probably call something like a release stream. Things like stable, testing, and staging. Ubuntu has a similar concept, just using very different names. The first pocket we have is the release pocket. During development of that version of Ubuntu, this is the only pocket being used. Upon the release, this pocket is frozen. This is the main place you're going to be downloading packages from. But this is not going to include any updates. Those are the further pockets. One of those being security. As described by this page on the official Ubuntu blog, the Ubuntu security team triage and assess whether an update is a significant security issue. Security updates are placed in the security pocket first. The security team also publish CVEs and Ubuntu security notices on their pages. The security team patch the highest version of the package from either the updates or the security pocket. They release this patch version to the security pocket. As such, security can end up containing some changes from updates. This is necessary to ensure all users, including those using updates, can always upgrade to the security updated version. After that, we have proposed, which for most distros would be the equivalent of something like the testing stream. Once something leaves proposed, then it moves into updates. This is going to include your general bug fixes and other little changes being made along the way. Keep in mind, Ubuntu is not a rolling release, so only in exceptional cases will new functionality be introduced. Then you have backports, which is pretty self-explanatory, but today we are focusing on security. Now, a couple of days ago, this bug report was made on the Subiquity bug tracker. Security pocket source is not security.ubuntu.com in default install of Ubuntu Desktop 23.04 for AMD64, made by... Lewis? Yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> anyway, the source being the server the pocket is downloading from. In a default install of Ubuntu 23.04, the source for the security pocket is this domain right here, but should be security.ubuntu.com. Now, this pt.archive.ubuntu.com is a part of the Ubuntu domain. This is one of the official Ubuntu mirrors but it's the wrong mirror. It's supposed to be this one. This is marked as critical importance. 23.04 is the version this user notes it on. It is not the only version that was affected. It also affected Mantic, which is 23.10, the upcoming version, and Jammy, 22.04.3 LTS, the prior LTS version. Well, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Sure, it might be a problem if it was using some random mirror out there that isn't run by Canonical that could possibly have malware on it. But in this case, it's an official Ubuntu mirror on the Ubuntu domain, so why does it matter? Well, let's check the security team FAQ, where it explicitly states how that pocket should be used. What repositories and pockets should I use to make sure my systems are up to date? By default, Ubuntu systems have both the security and update pockets enabled. Systems configured to use only the security pocket 
are also supported. While packages are copied from security to updates frequently, it is recommended the systems always have the security pocket enabled and use security.ubuntu.com for this pocket. For all other pockets, feel free to use archive.ubuntu.com or an archive mirror. This combination will ensure you're able to download important updates immediately while taking advantage of the mirror network or archive.ubuntu.com for all other downloads. Ubuntu systems are configured in this manner by default, but it turns out they actually weren't. And as can be seen from a really, really quick response in this bug report, along with really, really quickly shipping a fix for it, this right here is a statement that should have been true, but definitely wasn't. Now there is one thing that wasn't mentioned in this explanation. The why. Why should security only be using security.ubuntu.com? This, from what I can tell, isn't laid out anywhere across the Ubuntu documentation. If somebody knows where it is, please do let me know. But the thing that makes sense to me is it acts as a single point of truth with known contents. They want to make sure that the security updates you're getting that are supposed to be critical security updates are actually those security updates. So rather than suggesting you go and use a mirror which may under some circumstances have a malicious actor running it, in this case, they know exactly what you are getting because you are getting it from them. But how in the world did this end up happening? Because it's not like security.ubuntu.com is new. Like, they've had this pretty much since they've had the concept of the security pocket. Well, it turns out that it was a regression because of some mirror testing. On new Ubuntu installations, the security pocket is accessed through the primary mirror instead of being accessed through security.ubuntu.com or ports.ubuntu.com slash Ubuntu ports in the case of that version. This happens because when no security section is provided to Curtin, the value configured in the primary section is reused. It's such a simple problem. <laughs> like, it's not this crazy deep issue, they just forgot... <laughs> to set a variable. That is all. We now ensure that the right URI is used for the security repository. But it does have a slight impact on mirror testing though. Instead of downloading content from the primary repository only, we would download content from primary plus security, because now primary and security are using two separate domains. Therefore, we would try all the candidate mirrors without success if the security repository is unreachable. To work around this issue, we now disable security suite when running mirror testing. So instead of trying to test them both at the same time, it only tests that single domain. Now looking at the Pharonix comments, which is usually a fairly ill-advised idea, it seems like a lot of people either don't care or didn't even realize this was a problem in the first place. This is a pretty small config change that unlikely has any material impact on users. Mirrors for distros rarely if ever lag behind the primary, and major distros have tools to check and drop out lagging mirrors from the list automatically. Hmm, my home server on 22.04 LTS indeed has a mirror for those. Changed it now. Benefit of the mirror, however, is that download speeds are much larger. When something like Linux firmware updates, you get very low speeds for a 250 megabyte file download. I always use the main server, but it's not a big problem in my point of view. But if you do care about the problem and you do actually want to fix it, luckily doing so is relatively easy. For any new Ubuntu installs, it's just going to be working like it should be out of the box. But that's not going to happen for any existing installs. For those, there is a very minor change you need to make. To correct systems already installed, please modify your etsy slash app slash sources dot list, look for lines containing dash security, and update them to http colon slash slash security dot ubuntu dot com. Basically, just change the mirror in the places where you need to change the mirror. There'll be a handful of lines to change. It'll maybe take you five minutes at most. Also, this is only an issue on AMD64. For those of you out there using anything in ports, you do not need to change anything. 
do not change it to the AMD64 repo. That is not going to go well for you. This may possibly be the most minor critical security issue that I have ever seen. Ubuntu has lots of old bugs that are considerably worse than this that need to be dealt with at some point in the future. And I do have a couple of those in store for new videos, so keep an eye out for those ones. But anyway, let me know what you think about this one. Did you even know that there was, like, a difference between these things? Did you know that security.ubuntu.com was the thing that security was supposed to be using? And if you did, do you even care, or do you just use a quicker mirror? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video, and if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, to the Verify link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and look up Ubuntu HTTP repos, and you will find a lot of fun.